I'm Emily Pierre Paul. I'm 19 years old. And I think that this opportunity is really amazing because personally, I want to commit to my own YouTube channel. So I think this will be great exposure for me. So yeah, okay, on to the sides. I don't know about you, but I'll never look at spiders the same again. Thanks to Star's magic spell, Spider with the Top Hat Blast. But there's a lot of memorable moments in this hilarious adventure show, besides just spells. So that's why we had to do a part two for this kick-ass girl and her friend Marco. Hi, I'm Emily with Channel Frederator, and we've got a whole new set of facts on our favorite evil fighter and the Diaz family. So get your wands and spider with the top hat blasts ready because this is 107 more facts about stars versus the forces of evil. Let's get started. Fact one. We'll start with simple. Star's favorite color is yellow. I never would have guessed. I mean, stars are yellow and she has blonde hair. The star on her wand is yellow and she has a yellow purse. Okay, maybe I should have seen that coming. Fact 2. The first season of Star vs. the Forces of Evil was animated by Mercury Filmworks, the Canadian animation team behind the Mickey Mouse shorts, Wander Over Yonder, and The Lion Guard. Fact 3. Season 2 of Star marked a switch to a different studio, and Star is now animated by two companies, Sugar Cube and Rough Draft Korea. Fact 4. Star's design has changed quite a bit from the first drawing Nefty ever did. First and foremost, she's much older now. But on top of that, Star no longer wears a crown and rarely wears a dress. Other than that though, she's still got the blonde hair and those adorable hearts on her cheeks. Nefsi first came up with the idea of Star during her second year of school at CalArts in 2008. She was just a girl with hearts on her cheeks, no devil horns just yet. But because Nefsi liked Star so much, she decided to create a story based around her character. The story back then was inspired by what Nefsi wanted as a kid. Magic powers? Star started out as a simple girl who wanted magical powers so that she could manifest them, but didn't have any powers herself. Almost forgot. And my favorite cartoon is definitely the Powerpuff Girls. I mean, how could they not be your favorite cartoon? They're sugar, spice, and everything nice. Like, how could they not be your favorite? I used to want to be the pink one growing up. I thought the green one was weird and like mean, but I wanted to be the pink one growing up or Bubbles, which is the blue one. So yeah, the Powerpuff Girls, they rock. They're dope. <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing my submission. I hope to work with you soon.